Tractor Parking Brake Circuit In our schematic drawing of the truck slash tractor air brake system, the parking brake circuit is colored orange. Air for the parking brakes comes from both the primary and secondary circuits, which are connected at a double check valve's inlet ports. The outlet port from the double check valve sends the higher air pressure from the inlet ports, or from both supplies equally if their air pressures are the same, to a T in the line. One side goes back to the supply port of the anti-compounding parking brake relay valve. The other side of the T-air flows to the parking brake control valves located on the dash of the vehicle. The yellow parking brake dash push-pull valve controls the parking brakes on the truck slash tractor. The red trailer air supply push-pull valve controls the parking brakes on an attached trailer. The third button in the group, colored blue, is an optional trailer-only parking brake push-pull valve. When the yellow parking brake push-pull valve is pulled out, air in the parking brake system is purged from the spring brake chambers. The spring brakes that had been held back by air pressure are engaged. When the operator pushes the yellow parking brake push-pull valve in, air from the primary and secondary circuits travels through the valve to the tractor spring brake relay valve. The relay valve allows air to pass through unless the primary circuit has failed. From the valve, air travels to the control port of the anti-compounding parking brake relay valve. Note, in instances where the parking brake apply and release times can be met, a quick release valve can be used instead of the anti-compounding parking brake relay valve. As this relay valve opens, it moves air into the spring brake chambers and the springs are pushed back into their released position. In cases where the primary air circuit fails, the tractor spring brake relay valve has an emergency feature that allows air from the parking brake chambers to be exhausted to atmosphere when the operator steps on the treadle. This typically provides about four or five emergency brake applications before the spring brakes stay fully applied. This concludes our lesson on the tractor parking brake circuit. Please select another lesson from the menu bar or click on the repeat button to see the lesson again.